Before we took our binomial coefficient detour, we were talking about how to count unordered samples from a particular universe. In this video, we're going to use binomial coefficients to count the number of unordered samples with replacement a particular universe allows for. Here's an example. At a burrito restaurant, you may choose seven ingredients of four different types, meats, veggies, cheeses, and salsas. Price is determined by the number of ingredients of each type, but not which particular ingredients you get or what order they're in. What is the maximum number of different prices that a seven ingredient burrito could be? So remember, the order of the ingredients doesn't matter, which ingredients doesn't matter, all that matters is the number of ingredients of each type or the distribution of the types of ingredients. So recall, we have seven ingredients and four types. Those four types are meat, veg, cheese, and salsa. Suppose we want a burrito that has three different types of vegetables on it, two different kinds of cheeses, and two different kinds of salsas. In other words, no meat. Here is a diagram of what that burrito might look like. So we're interested in counting these diagrams. Another way to represent the diagrams is to use bit strings. Each of the dividers is going to be a 1, and each of the dots is going to be a 0. So this diagram corresponds to the bit string 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So really what we're asking is, how many of these bit strings are there? With three ones and seven zeros. It turns out that the idea is that we are choosing three of the characters to be ones out of the ten total characters of the bit string. And since the order of the ones is irrelevant, this is an unordered sample without replacement because we can't use a character twice. So there are ten choose three or ten choose seven such bit strings. Both are equal to 10 factorial over 3 factorial, 7 factorial, which is 10 times 9 times 8 over 3 times 2 times 1, which is 120. So the maximum number of different prices of the burrito is 120. Here's another point of view on the problem. We are sampling from the universe meat, veggie, cheese, salsa seven times, and there are four elements in our universe. We are allowed to replace the elements so we can choose something more than once. So the sort of object we're looking for is a set with replacement, which is a little weird because sets aren't supposed to allow for a replacement. But let's write one down and see what it would look like. Our particular example would be the object veggie, 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 cheese, cheese, salsa, salsa. Or, if we wanted a shorthand notation for it, we could write V3, C2, S2. This object is not a set, it's going to be something that we call a multiset. Multisets have a pretty technical definition, but they're not more complicated than the thing we just wrote down a second ago. A multiset is a function alpha from the universe omega to the natural numbers, where every x in omega is assigned a multiplicity alpha of x. The cardinality of the multiset is the sum of all of the multiplicities. Our last example, we had the universe was meat, veggie, cheese, salsa. Our multiset was veggies three times, cheeses twice, salsas twice. Alpha of meats was zero because that didn't appear in our multiset at all. Alpha of veggies was three because it appeared v three times. Alpha of cheeses was 2, alpha of salsas was 2, and if you add all those numbers together, you get 7, which is the cardinality of the multiset. In general, there are n minus 1 plus r choose r multisets of cardinality r from a universe of n elements. Notice the minus 1 in the binomial coefficient is because there is 1 fewer dividers than elements of the universe.